So let's just say for the sake of this video that you've decided on getting 8GB. Being the clever PC part picker guru that you are, you go to narrow down your search options to 8GB. But wait, you're immediately greeted by not one, not two, but three options. 1 times 8GB, 2 times 4GB, and 4 times 2GB. You may be wondering, which one to choose? Instead of making the decision for you of what you need for every possible situation, I'll tell you how to choose what's best for you. Here's the deal. I'll assume we already have a motherboard picked out, so take a look at it. First thing to check is, how many memory slots does it have? When first choosing RAM, you'll always want to get the fastest you can without filling up all your RAM slots at the time of building your PC. It's always a good idea to leave room for expansion in the future because you never know how your needs may change. If your motherboard has two slots for RAM, generally get one stick if you think there's any chance whatsoever of you upgrading. With four slots of RAM, you'll want to get two. With 8, you'll want to get 2 or 4. Most motherboards with 8 slots for RAM also have quad-channel support, which is even faster than dual-channel. But what makes quad-channel faster than dual-channel? For that matter, what makes dual-channel faster than single-channel? What RAM running in dual-channel does is increase the amount of theoretical lanes or data wires available from 64 to 128. Theoretically, this will double the transfer rate, so on 1600MHz RAM, this will increase the 12.8GB per second bandwidth to 25.6GB per second. In a quad-channel configuration, that will get doubled once again to a whopping 51.2 gigabytes per second. Sounds awesome, right? Unfortunately, for reasons that are way beyond the scope of this video, that doesn't always translate to real-world performance. As this fantastic Reddit thread has shown, there's a negligible difference between the two under normal circumstances. What it really comes down to is this. If getting a single-channel kit is significantly cheaper than getting a dual-channel kit, it will allow more upgradability in the future without having a huge impact on performance. This is especially important in situations where you only have two RAM slots available and you don't want to have to buy entirely new RAM to upgrade in the future. However, dual channel is still slightly faster, and having two sticks of RAM means that if one fails, you can still continue to use your computer, albeit with less RAM. There is one more caveat to getting one stick instead of two if you're planning on upgrading though. RAM can differ a lot from model to model. You'll definitely want to get RAM of the same capacity, mixing capacities doesn't work for dual channel on most motherboards. Clock speed, cast latency, and timings, which by the way are all topics I will cover in the future, can all vary from RAM to RAM. While people still sometimes find success using dual channel with RAM that varies in these categories, it's a good idea to get RAM with the same specs. To answer the previous question of which option on PC part picker to choose, just choose the first two options, 1x8 and 2x4. If the dual channel and single channel kits are similar in price and you have 4 RAM slots, then just buy the dual channel kit. If the single channel kit is significantly cheaper or you're on a tight budget, just go for that.